Hi, Kawani. Chanuti, Chiang Mai, Pratet, Thai. I am in Chiang Mai, Thailand. So the rainy season in Thailand actually started like a couple weeks ago, but in Chiang Mai it is very much so rainy, and I don't think it stopped. The, the roads were flooded on our way from the airport. We're at our Airbnb, and I'm gonna do a tour. So I'm already in the kitchen very spacious and super cute the colors going down the stairs into the living area JR <laughs> back up to one of the bedrooms. Camille and I will be sharing nice little bathroom. Doing the light. Here we go. Up the stairs some more. To a mini little kitchen, living space I guess, and an open bathroom with the tub. I say open because look it's open. <laughs> and this leads into the bigger bedroom where JR is staying. So I actually have relatives in Chiang Mai and <laughs> My aunt was like, why didn't you stay with me? So at some point on this trip, definitely have to go pay her a visit. I fixed my hair because it was looking extremely poofy due to the rain. And now we're waiting on a boat to take us to a vegan restaurant. I'm hungry and wet. Our boats finally arrived. Which by the way, I think I mentioned this in my Bangkok vlog, which if you're not subscribed to me, please do. Because I have so much other Thailand vlogs. Boat is a lot cheaper than Grab. Got kept mu, which is oh, pork rinds, but obviously Perfect. vegan. And then I got this other stuff. They're only 10 bucks, so might as well get it and try. Now we're in Yiman, which this area has a lot of cafes, coffees, and cute little things. But right now we're heading to the shopping area. Went to the market and we got ice cream, sandwich cookies, for the next couple of days but now I'm going to try these tips new into a pork rind these are actually vegan it tastes fine mm. I mean granted I haven't eaten these since I was way younger so I I don't really remember the taste of the real ones. We're at my nice bazaar, which I think parts of it is closed off. Oddly enough, all the stalls are underneath like the awning or with the roof is completely gone. But there are a few stalls like here and there that are open. Another note, 
like I had mentioned earlier in the vlog, it's rainy season, which means it is pouring right now. So we were planning to get food at the night bazaar, but since the bazaar seems to be closed, except for maybe a few shops here and there, we decided to just get food at a restaurant. Of course, when in Thailand, actually not just only in Thailand, because they still drink Thai tea when I'm not here. We all three got Chai Yen, aka Thai tea. Latna, my favorite noodle dish. Definitely try it. Patika, another morning in Chiang Mai. And right now Camille and I are at a breakfast spot because we have a long day ahead of us. But of course, since it's rainy season, it's currently pouring. Camille and I are at breakfast. No coffee yet because we're gonna go to a coffee shop after. Got vegan panini curry or vegan curry panini. coffee at R8 which is a really cool coffee shop because they have all types of coffee here just like the whole book it's just coffee of like all sorts of things so I got a Thai tea with coffee I love coffee and I love Thai tea so I figured to try this Mm. Now to like the tip, which is the temple at the top of the mountain. the temple and now we got the little snack we got a hot dog but it's not a hot dog the inside is actually a banana and on the outside I got honey and Camille got chocolate chocolate is dripping Yum! The taxi guy that we got to go up to Doisa Tip, he let us borrow his umbrella, so it's super nice. Which, by the way, if you do want to go to that temple, just know that the taxi drivers are, are going to ask a little bit more money for gas, but you can haggle and say a price and have them wait up there for you so that way they're up there and then they can take you back down, so it'll be a little less easier. With that being said, we don't have umbrellas, so we got ponchos! <laughs> And now we're at Wat Chidi Luang and we have Pancho's protect us. You like the green? It's good. Mm. It's like a mango, but yeah. sour a bit. Yeah. yeah. Not as sweet. So Camille and I went to go hang out with my aunts for a couple hours, which was really fun and nice. Now we're back in the Airbnb changed because even though we stayed at my aunts for a few to have our clothes dry a bit, they were still a bit damp so we both changed. <laughs> and now we are waiting on our bowl to take us to dinner with JR. Now we're at Shum 
my gates market. I got mangkut, which is mangosteen, 40 baht for one kilo. So in addition to the mangosteen, I found baked eggs. I'm very excited because I used to make them all the time with my aunt when I was younger. So we all decided to get a massage because if you didn't know, in Chiang Mai, it is actually way cheaper to get a massage here than Phuket and in Bangkok. We are officially back from the massage. My hair looks crazy, but tomorrow's a full day, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. So, Dika, another morning in Chiang Mai. So, Thai bean and baked eggs. And on the street, for street food, it's actually baked on the stove here. And what it is exactly is you take the egg and at the top of it you crack it into a little hole and then you get a syringe and you suck out everything inside the egg and you do that to each egg that you're making in the huge batch and then you put it into a bowl and then you mix ingredients in it but it's just making it a, a better taste and then after you mix it you syringe it back into the egg and then you boil it so that's why it looks like this my bowl here so I can crack it and shake it So it's like this grayish, greenish color, but there's no yolk because you mixed it and then you syringed it back. Mm. So if you're ever on the streets of Thailand and you see eggs, it might just be these baked eggs. But I'm going to end Jing my vlog part one here. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!